Hi, my name is Iman. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing what's for dinner, planning for dinner, grocery hauls, as well as planning. And sometimes we might be doing a day in the life. So please, if you like what you see, like and subscribe and share with your friends. Hi, and welcome back. Tonight, what's for dinner is an ode to the Brady Bunch. We're having pork chops and applesauce. And alongside that, we're having breaded baked zucchini. Hey, Mom. Hi, Alish. What's for dinner? Pork chops. Pork chops. Huh? What else? Applesauce? Pork chops and applesauce. I mean, that's swell. I wanted to start my zucchini first because it's going to take a lot longer to cook than the pork chops because I have thin pork chops. But anyway, what I did is I put some flour in this bag and I tossed it around on the zucchini spears. And then I'm putting it in an egg wash, then Italian breadcrumbs, and then it turns out like this. So what I'll do is I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of this and then bake it in a 350 degree oven until it's done. I'm thinking, probably 20 minutes. So we'll check it on 20 minutes. Okay. Put it in the egg wash. Then roll it around to be covered. Anything zucchini is good. Okay, so I went ahead and I put, I tossed them in flour, then I put them in the egg wash, and I put them, I rolled them around in the Italian seasoning um, breadcrumbs. And so now what I'll do is I'm gonna drizzle olive oil on them so that they way, that way they can get crispy. And I had a little too much, so I've got another little pan here. Okay, here it goes. They should bake hopefully about 20 minutes. We'll check them in 20 minutes and see how they're doing. Okay, so this recipe actually is off of the back of this Quaker yellow cornmeal packet. And the recipe is called crispy herb chicken, but because I have pork chops, I'm doing it with the pork chops. So here are here's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting in half a cup of cornmeal then a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, one and a half teaspoon, tablespoons, excuse me, one and a half tablespoons of um, Italian seasoning. No, that is teaspoons, I apologize. And then a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt and pepper. It calls to mix these up. This is the dry ingredients. What I'm going to do is put the uh, the pork chops into, uh, I'm gonna dip them in milk, and then I'm dipping them in this dry mixture. Place them on a uh, pan that I have uh, sprayed with Pam, and then I'm going to um, drizzle them with some butter, or brush them with butter. All right. The recipe calls for half a cup of milk. And see, the pork chops are very thin, so I don't think they're gonna take 40 minutes to cook. I think these will probably cook in about, mm, I don't know, maybe less than 15 minutes. such a quick and easy meal.
These were the pork chops that I got on sale at Aldi's when I did my Aldi's uh, video. And I'll link that below. I'll also include the recipes down below in my description boxes. Every time I cook, I include those in the description box. Alright, now we have three tablespoons of melted butter and I'm going to brush the top of these with the butter. I'm just tapping this on there because I don't want to remove the coating that I placed. Now it goes into the oven and these um, I mentioned earlier because this was supposed to be like chicken fryer parts uh, it was supposed to cook for 40 to 45 minutes but these are not going to need 40 to 45 minutes I'm going to check them um, in about 20 uh, no maybe about 10 or 15 minutes okay that's what's for dinner pork chops applesauce and zucchini sticks. This is going to be delicious.